What up? It's your boy, the Incredible Man, and yes, I am back at it again, and this is Bo Furry. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max on my defenses. Episode 5, man, discussion slash review, and it is absolutely wonderful. This is easily becoming one of my favorite series, and that I could definitely rewatch again once it's all over just to see if I, I missed anything because this episode was just another testament of how great this anime is man I, I need to pick up I don't know if it's a manga volume or a light novel I, I don't care after this season is over I am finding out where I can read more about this because I just need more because it's just that epic I love every single episode man this episode was no different um it picked up right after last week's episode where we come in contact with the samurai chick and we find out her name is Kasumi and in this episode, I knew that, like, she wasn't really going to be, like, an enemy because we see her in the opening as well, like, having a good time hanging with everybody else in Maple and Sally. So, I knew that's what was going to happen. But the way that they led up to it and how it happened and came about was cool. So, we have her and Sally, which are both very skilled fighters, and they were finna bust into a fight. And Maple was like, what is going on with you guys? And so, the chick was like, well... The odds aren't in my favor. It's two against one. So, okay, well, I guess I'll just leave. So she busts out the super speed skill and tries to leave. But Sally chases her down. And to my confusion, I thought that's what was happening. But when Sally catches up to her, she was like, ah, this was like, how did you get the super speed skill? And she was like, I didn't expect her to try to lure Sally away because she could figure she, she stood a better chance of taking it on one of them at a time instead of both of them and that was smart on her part so like we kind of see how she is as a character and it was very nice as well but she's not quite as smart as sally because we all know that sally has multiple trophies and awards at her house for gaming and you know ever since she started playing this game and and, and racking up skills and, and and everything sally's another beast as well she's not maple status yet but because of her knowledge of former games and playing the games and, and getting awards and understanding this game as well, Sally's becoming quietly a beast as well. And we and we find that out later in the episode because she she's used to PvP as well. Um, so her and the chick are starting to fight and she uses the Mirage to try to trick the chick. And then next thing you know, the chick was like, what? Okay, okay. So they both kind of have like these super different type of fighting styles because she's a samurai and uh sally's a swashbuckler but at the same time they kind of tricked each other a little bit so it was nice to see that aspect but then in comes maple just crashing everywhere and her inexperience into like the whole pvp type thing led to maple crashing down try not trying to get left behind and boom bam she opens up inside of a dungeon. She like makes all of them fall into like a sand trap and they fall inside a new dungeon and they get connected by these chains that if one person dies while attached to these chains, the whole troop dies. So they have to be friends with Kasumi because if she dies, they die or if they die, she dies. So they all decided to have a truce and team up together to um, raid this dungeon. And it was a simple dungeon. It wasn't too hard. It was a big, a bunch of big slimy caterpillar looking things that was there. And they teamed up to escape them. Um, as soon as they got in the dungeon, Maple found um, a coin herself. And then as they finished the dungeon um, with their teamwork, the chains popped off and um, they got to the chest. And there was two extra coins and Sally got one and Kasumi got one. And they all took some scrolls and, and, and some loot gear that was happening inside that, that was there inside the dungeon. So it, all in all, it was a nice experience for us to get an introduction to Kasumi and find out that she's going to be a friend. I mean, we see it in the opening, but to actually find out how it happened in the anime was actually nice and they, and they played it out and I enjoyed it. Then the rest of the episode after they escape that dungeon is nighttime outside. They're trying to leave. And then the rest of the that part of the episode is um, they we all see it in like a like just like a little uh, time time by thing. Oh, what? I can't think of the words. Um... Anyway, like with the music in the background and it's all just a whole bunch of clips. I know. What is the word? I can't think of the word. Anyway, where it's just a whole bunch of clips of, of them actually exploring the um, the new part of this. Uh, uh, what is this? Anyway, the, the, the event. That's what I can. Okay. They're exploring the new part of the event. Like they're going to all these different places because they're trying to reach the goal of 20 coins now once they get the 20 coins sally and maple each will get 10 and that 10 allows them to get a new skill which we see at the end of the episode and that's why they were so adamant about getting 20 coins so they can split split it right down the middle um 
and you know we see all of that going by in a smooth transition where like boom 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 they went here boom 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 they went here and then they got a couple coins here they got a couple coins there and then they were shy two coins corn corn coins i can't talk today they were shy two coins and sally in the back of their mind they had put it off to the side like well we may have to eventually start uh pv pvping people to get these last two coins so at the end of the day that's what they had to do maple you know didn't really want to do it but like she knew that they needed to get those coins and sally was thinking that well you know since everybody knows maple I'll go do it because you stay here and guard the coins that we have. And it was nice to see that because this time, like I said, the last couple episodes, especially last week's episode, um, Sally put in work. And someone told me that, yeah, I agree. Sally put in work. But Maple went hardcore in last week's episode. But this week's episode was a Sally episode. We got to see Sally go hardcore in this PvP, which is her style because she's, she's been ramping for PvP the whole time they've been there. And this episode, she got that. She got her PvP. I mean, she went ham. These first two people she bopped into, they didn't even have coins. But she straight slayed them. She didn't know that they didn't have coins, but she murdered them nonetheless. And then, like, she went to this whole troop. There were maybe, like, 20 people. And she straight murdered them. All she got was two coins. But she still straight murdered all these people. You see all of the weapons just lying down on the ground. <laughs> Sally went hardcore and... When you see my thumbnail, you go like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I had to take the thumbnail of, uh, I had to take the screenshot of her going ham at the PvP. Um, so then she gets back. She shows Maple that she has the two coins. Oh, my bad. I skipped over the part about um, them um, meeting the other chick with the red hair that gave them the puzzle book. So they got another friend that they met. I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I was just so happy about the Sally moment because, like, the last couple episodes, like, Sally has been shining for sure, but they were Maple episodes, let's be real. Like, when they fought, like, the big bosses that last, the bird anyway, like, the clown guy, uh, Sally kind of went ham. But, like, the, the big bird, the silver thing, I think, Maple went in. Maple, she was taking damage, she was doing damage. So, Maple was, this week's was at, was Sally's episode. Sally went ham in this PvP. But, um, yeah, like I said, they met another chick um, when Sally had to swim to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, and she was doing something with puzzles. And puzzles were her thing and games and stuff. And she ended up with, like, a, a multi-rainbow-colored Rubik's Cube that has some kind of special skill. But she didn't share it, but she just told us about it. Then she gave them a puzzle book, which allowed them to go to another level and fight another boss. Like, a big boss, which was like a sea monster. And this was so funny, man. Um... They didn't even take this much time fighting this monster. And that's why I love this anime. They didn't take that much time fighting this monster. Sally was, was like, well, how are we going to defeat it? Because every time it hits the devour shield, that part that gets devoured, it regenerates. So how, how are we going to defeat it? And Maple was like, I have an idea. Since they were in like this whole little bubble underground. Uh, I mean, under, under, under the ocean. And the squid was just swimming around the ocean. Maple was like, I have an idea. He did a, so she sticks up the Hydra or Hydra, however you want to say it, and puts it up inside the water and just started, just started poisoning the water. <laughs> and she killed the uh, the squid like it was nothing. Like, like she just kept Hydra, 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 and then just releasing a whole bunch of poison. And next thing you know, boom, the dude, the uh, squid's HP just went down like that. And Sally was like, well, that, that, that's one way to beat it. <laughs> And then at the end, we see Sally um, bringing back the two coins that she did when she raided and started attacking the other players for the PvP. And um, she was like, yeah, I got the two coins. And then we come in contact with Kasumi again. And she was like, well, I heard voices coming from inside here and I wanted to take a break so I wouldn't get attacked in the last day of the um, event. I just wanted to take a break and not be attacked. And, and uh, they were like, well, we're doing the same thing. You want to chill with us? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And so Maple used Hedra again. And, po and put poison over the cave. And then when those three guys came by at the end of the episode, it was like, hmm, what kind of boss monster is in there with a poison cave? Dude, our level is not high enough to enter this cave. We are just, we're just going to go. We're just going to go. <laughs> and then at the end of the episode, we also see like the guys just like over the game. They were just talking. It was like, oh, look at this character. They're so good. They're, they they got some coins. They're doing good. And then the dude was starting to talk about Sally and Maple. Well, basically Maple. And he was like, well, Maple done something wonderful again. They're like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything about Maple. <laughs> and um, so then they just rested. And then at the end, we see that they cashed in their tokens. And Maple 
got like a telekinesis type thing where she can float um syrup up in the sky and she can ride syrup and syrup's all huge and gigantic so like just another wonderful moment for maple man and then she used poison rain to kill a whole bunch of the animals that was just sitting. so maple's just still hardcore and at the end of the episode you know when they do like the whole screenshots of everybody commenting and everything they were like uh what did it say? Oh, that was like, Maple's like a big boss. And even the little people that uh, runs the game was like, Maple's is a big boss now. She, she She's tougher than the bosses that we're fighting. <laughs> but that's everything that happened in this episode, man. And I loved it. I, I, I find myself enjoying this series 100%. And every week, I can't wait to watch the next episode. I look forward to it every week, man. Because it's just that wonderful, man. And at the very, at the very, very ending, it was like, Error does not compute because of Maple's skills. <laughs> <laughs> it's so epic, man. I love it. This is your boy, Nick Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out.